When working with more complex stock, which has been pre-machined, neither the rectangular nor the cylindrical stock options may suit your needs. In these cases, it's common to create an SDL file to serve as the stock model, especially when working with a fixture and you do not want to machine the fixture. To use an SDL file, I'll select the stock setup from the Mastercam tab. In the shape area, I'll select the file radio button and beside it I'll click on the folders icon. This will minimize the machine group properties window and take you into a Windows Explorer window so you can browse for the folder with the STL file. I'll navigate to my STL file, select it, and select options. Here I will enable the radio button to import the STL file as a mesh and accept this selection. I'll click open and the machine group properties window will reappear. To see the stock, I'll enable the display a stock and I'll display it as a solid. I'll accept this selection and you can now see the stock as a translucent red. I can choose to turn the stock display on or off and I can display it as the translucent red or as a wireframe entity. The entire fixture will now be treated as stock for simulation purposes and any tool paths which would cut into the fixture will be clearly seen during the simulation, saving the programmer the embarrassment of costly yet avoidable mistakes.